ട്രേഡ് റിലേറ്റഡ് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ്മെന്റ് മെഷേഴ്സ് ട്രിംസ് എസ് എസ് മോൾ ഹിയർ ബിക്കോസ് മെഷേഴ്സ് എസ് മെഷേഴ്സ് ഓക്കെ ട്രേഡ് റിലേറ്റഡ് ട്രേഡ് റിലേറ്റഡ് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ്മെന്റ് measures trade related investment measures like trips or some cases s will be capital also that is doesn't matter just s small or capital doesn't matter here okay but you need to understand the meaning of it trims trips like that okay trade related intellectual property rights since we are not dealing with intellectual property here we are the most interested in trade related investment measures okay so investment measures related with trade what trade global trade foreign trade external trade same meaning okay now so first important uh, see all the see you know you need to keep in mind wto came into existence on 1st january 1995 this date is very very important very easy to remember 1st january you can date is also important not only year 1st january you can easily remember new year <laughs> so 1995 okay 1995 so regarding uh, wto regarding wto okay you, you just need to have one basic idea okay see this uh, wto agreement took or the wto took up there is a predecessor to wto what we call it as gart and wto is an organization but gart was not an organization it's an agreement general agreement on trade and tariff okay basically it's an agreement gart is basically an agreement just keep in mind okay general and it came into so this gart came into existence along with the imf and world bank imf and world bank they are called bretton wood twins because imf and world bank they were organization gart was simply an agreement which was not binding okay gart was not a successful organization means it was not it didn't developed into an organization but gart an agreement general agreement from the moment a is agreement agreement came into an organization in 1995 first but so the the starting of wto started in 1986 i think you are not born in this year huh now long back okay so this year is very important 1986 to 1994 this time period 1986 to 1994 it took 8 years so like you have re recently heard about rcp na no? rcp came into existence recently without india but it took long negotiations to come into existence like trans a modified trans pacific partnership without us okay so soon we we can hear good news india and us will sign a free trade agreement i can feel it okay because now things have become very easy for us okay so many us products will come here and you can easily go to uh, now indians visiting us will become very easy after once we sign a free trade agreement it's a because it's a free trade agreement in, see we don't have anything to export we have only human resources so we can go there <laughs> they will send, send harley davidson and many many products and all these things okay let's see what will happen okay uh, <clears throat> we will send sign test uh, okay we'll send uh, already lot of it professionals are going to us you know that okay that's our that's what we export there we export our brain okay <laughs> anyway so regarding this uh, gart okay remember this time period this 8 year time period okay so nearly 8 years so uh, the 1986 uh, this negotiation for wto started in 1986 starting in uruguay but after that in many different places this negotiation continued but this eight year talk since it started in uruguay this eight eight year negotiation for wto is called as uruguay round of negotiations that doesn't mean that it was only in uruguay uruguay famous for football world cup okay that's we know only the latin american country we are familiar with because of world cup okay football world cup you know okay anyway this uruguay round of negotiation is Eight year of negotiation for what? For setting up a, a setting up a organization for trade. Okay, and there. So this in this eight year, many multilateral agreements came into uh, uh, agreement between consensus have reached between member countries. 
okay so rest we will discuss when i'll deal with uh, wto okay so this is also very important because whenever we talk about a multilateral agreement this will come across what it is this uruguay round of negotiation wto coming into existence so that uh, common feature uh, another thing is regarding wto is that that wto is having a dispute settlement mechanism that if there is any, see we know that between, between, see member countries will not always follow the agreement, this multilateral trade agreement or multilateral agreement of WTO, they may, some country may violate it. So if there is a violation of, by any member country, the other member country who is aggrieved, who is having grievances can approach the WTO dispute settlement mechanism and there is a, a systematic dispute uh, settlement mechanism is there. So all these things are basic features of any multilateral agreement and it is applicable to this WTO multilateral agreement related with terms. Okay. So this is an explicit WTO multilateral agreement. Why I am using this word stressing again instead of agreement I am using this word multilateral because it is binding on all members. If I use the word plurilateral, it is not binding on all members. It is only those people. See, everybody have to join multilateral agreement. All the WT members have to join. Plurilateral agreement, you have the option to join or not to join. One of the examples of plurilateral agreement is information technology agreement. There were two agreements, Info te information technology agreement one and information te technology agreement two. India joined one, India didn't join two. Because India realized it is not good. Okay. So anyway, well, we'll discuss later on that. Okay. So now we'll go to the this WTO agreement on investment measures. Okay. So it is a part of Marrakesh agreement. Okay. So Marrakesh finally where it was signed that was in Marrakesh started in Uruguay. Okay. So Marrakesh part of a Marrakesh around uh, signed at the end of the Uruguay round of negotiation. So it so Marrakesh and final agreement was signed at Marrakesh Marrakesh Treaty where. Eurogate round of negotiation was over. Okay, and WTO came into existence. Okay, so TRIMS is a uh, WTO multilateral agreement and it is having a common belief that okay, there is a strong connection between trade and investment. WTO is about trade, so there is a strong connection between trade and investment. That is the basic principle of this agreement. Okay, and it is saying that it rest see the restrictive measures on investment and this uh, agreement says that any restrictive measures by member countries on investment if you restrict for, for example india is saying that we will not allow investment from a particular country like china so if india is saying that okay we will not allow investment from china then china will approach wto dispute settlement mechanism because it is considered as trade, anything trade distorting, then it's a violation of WTO principle. Okay, so these are the word trade distorting. Okay, so restrictive measures on investment are considered as trade distorting. So you can, so any any member country who is having grievances, they can approach the dispute settlement mechanism. So several restrictive measures on investment are prohibiting. So there, if you have a Restrictive measures on investment, it will prohibit trade. So, since it prohibits trade, it is not allowable. So, any, see, there are some exceptions are there. Try to understand for developed developing countries, for developing countries as well as least developing countries, there are some exceptions. We'll discuss that, okay, in WTO class. For timing, which all is not, so normal general principle is that there should not be any restrictive measures on investment. We should not, means a government should not restrict investment from a foreign country. It is considered as trade distorting as well as prohibiting free trade. Who is promoting free trade, free and fair, fair trade? WTO. Free and fair trade. Okay. So TRIMS is giving an obligation to member countries that they say that, okay, countries should not adopt those investment measures which will restrict and distort trade okay so in according to this principle investment this trade distorting investment measures are those steps traditionally used by 
a member country to prevent foreign investment. Remember before 1991. Before 1991, India prohibited because we were a closed economy. But after the economic reform, so before, so before when the Eurogear round of negotiation started, okay, during this time only India opened the economy. India realized that okay, WTO is soon coming to existence, so we have to be ready for it. We started it a bit a few years earlier. Okay. So, <clears throat> so TRIMS instruct all the WTO members. Why it is instructing all the WTO members? Because it's a multilateral agreement. Okay. So, instead that WTO may not apply any measure that discriminate against, discrimination is against, you should not discriminate under WTO. Against foreign investment that violates basic WTO principles like most favored nation. Most favored nation, I'll discuss for timing, understand it is most favored nation is one of the core principle of WTO which says that there should not be any discrimination. See, you, you are allowing, imagine, you are allowing uh, foreign investment from Japan, but you are not allowing foreign investment from China. It is discrimination against China. They are from some same region. Okay. You can say that, okay, Japan is very close to us, but under WTO is different. See, bilaterally we can do something, but currently the problem is that WTO is a failure. That's a different thing. WTO, if it was successful, it might have benefited all the countries. Since WTO is a failure, now countries are going for bilateral free trade agreement and regional free trade agreement etc. Okay. So WTO also gives a list of prohibited. Okay. This is very very important. Okay. It prohibits certain investment measures. Like this is very 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 important. Okay. Which all investment measures are prohibited by a member country. Like local content requirement. See, you remember India, US solar dispute. That was a prelims question. If we have we have a solar mission. In our solar mission, there is a, uh, a provision is the 30 percentage of the solar inputs for the solar mission, this uh, solar power that we know that na solar uh, this thing. It should be used locally. Domestic content is re required. Local content is required. It should not for manufacturing. It's basically to promote making India, but it was a violation of WTO agreement. So that's why India lost against US. Okay. So, so TRIMS basically is against provisions like saying mandatory saying that okay uh, for manufacturing you should use local content requirement. Understand the meaning of local content. Domestic content. Local content requirement. It is against. So you should not use this word local content requirement. Then export obligation. Obligating the foreign investor. Okay. If you invest in India you should export a certain percentage 50 percentage of your production should be exported so that India will benefit by so that obligation should not be given to if he is investing in India he can sell it in India okay so export obligation should not be given to whom to the in foreign investors so this should not be made mandatory see we are talking about foreign investors so we the government should not make any mandatory steps like local content requirement on foreign investors export obligation on foreign investors etc also technology transfer requirement asking the foreign investor to transfer the technology to India I'm taking everything from India for example if France is giving this aircraft now what is that Rafael India is buying and some is producing in India India's mandatory saying that okay you should transfer the technology so that we don't require France but indirectly we will get it that's a different by using reverse engineering See, once you learn, now once you have few aircraft and once you see the production in India, we will learn how to build it. That's a different thing. But you should not mandately ask for uh, technology transfer. That is what WTO said. China is export in it. See, why China, uh, why China went ahead and US is so angry with uh, China is that China is master in going for reverse engineering. Once they get a technology, they will reverse engineer, they will learn it and they will use their own. They will make it cheaper and then export back to many countries including US. That's the actually the US China trade war is all about this. It's basically IPR violation. We'll say it, okay? We'll deal it, okay? So wonderful, they are influencing currency. Secondly, they are stealing US technology, <laughs> and they have their own. Uh, and you see, see that how they are growing. So to an extent, uh, that's the reason why that uh, the India US closeness is mainly because to counter China, okay? <clears throat> so three things. 
WTO Trims Agreement is saying. Please note down. They are explicitly prohibited. They can ask you. Expl that is local content requirement, export obligation and technology transfer requirement. Okay. Then for developing countries, some exemptions are being provided. Okay. Like in every, every WTO agreement, this few exemption is provided. For example, for agriculture, for food security purposes, they can ask for technology transfer. Okay, like that, there will be some exemptions will be provided. Okay. Then, there is a committee. Under the WTO, there is a committee on trips. Like that, there will be a committee on trips. Okay. There is a committee under WTO. What is the function of this committee on trips? They will monitor the operation and implementation of the trims agreement and also give help those countries who have any doubt so provide consultation on for member countries what is the job this is the job of committee on committee on trims committee on trims so basically the objective of trims is to ensure fair treatment of investment fair treatment of investment in all member countries and this is very 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 important see during this period services as a sector has not grown like what now service every economy is a service, major service economy okay during the euro gear round of negotiations the investment negotiation was basically on goods not on services that is one india lacks so basically the agreement we have a multilateral agreement on services but that is not implemented fully if it is implemented fully india will become very powerful country general agreement on trade and services because we are a service economy and we have the because of the human resources and the knowledge we have once guards guards gats not got gatt that is general agreement general agreement on trade in services gats it's a multilateral agreement but it is not operational not implemented fully india is india is always saying that we are ready to give you anything give us Implement in true and in letter and spirit, in true spirit, general agreement on trade and services. Allow our doctors, nurses, IT experts, plumbers to work anywhere in India, AC mechanics. Okay, uh, so all are uh, very important, now people. Okay, so this is keyword. This is actually the 2020 prelims question. If you know this using elimination method. You could have answered it. Okay. So, trims applies only to measures that affect trade in goods only. So, it means no services. Now, I will just show you the question. Okay. See the 2020 questions. With reference to trade related investment measures, okay, in UPSC they use the word capital letter, so you use it, it's nothing, T-R-I-M-S, okay. With the, which of the following statement is so correct? Read the second statement. They apply to investment measures related to trade in both goods and services. Second, 2020 problems question, second statement is wrong. Eliminate A, eliminate B, eliminate D, you got your answer. The core thing should be knowing the core thing. <coughs> we'll discuss the question again after completing this TRIMS agreement. Okay. Now, as per the TRIMS agreement, as per the TRIMS agreement, members, as per the TRIMS agreement, members are required to notify to the WTO Council. It's a very important council. Okay. WTO Council for Trade in Goods. Similarly, there is a WTO Council for Trade in Services. Okay, so this the regarding the structure of WTO we'll discuss under the module of WTO. So I'm just familiarizing with these things are there related with. Okay, so as per the TRIMS agreement, member countries are required to notify the WTO Council for Trade and Goods of their existing TRIMS. That are see if there is any if uh, if there is any uh, investment measures any trade related if any particular country is having. A trade related investment measures which is inconsistent with the WTO agreement that is TRIMS agreement then they have to notify to the WTO Council for trade in goods so they will look into it and they will make some suggestions 
Okay. So the agreement, TRIMS agreement requires all WTO members to notify the trade, uh, the TRIMS agreement that are, so they have to tell to the this council what all trade related investment measures are inconsistent with the provisions of the agreement and they should say that they will eliminate all the inconsistent trade related investment measures within a particular period of time. So they have to commit, every member country have to commit and say that all the inconsistent, anything inconsistent with the TRIMS agreement, WTO multilateral agreement will be eliminated within a certain period of time by all the member countries and they will guarantee this to the whom? WTO Council for Trade in uh, Goods. Okay. So WTO members may not apply any measure that discriminates against so see foreign products and foreign producers are very important okay it also says that okay WTO members may not apply they will not apply any measure that discriminate against foreign products so under WTO a member country that's the reason why you know, we, when Chinese products comes to India we cannot say that okay don't we can even when there was a uh, recent border dispute was there between India and China Chinese products was coming to India we cannot stop them because it's against WTO violation. Okay. Against foreign products or that leads to quantitative restriction. Both of which violate. The, so what is quantitative? This is QR. This is very, very important. Quantitative restriction. I'll discuss under the, there's a, another chapter called uh, trade policy. Quantitative restrictions. Quantitative restriction is that, okay. India will say that from a particular country, we will import only this much of quantity. For example, 5 ton or 500 ton, that much. We will only import. India is saying that, okay, from Saudi Arabia, we will import only this much of oil. Then from Iraq, this much of oil. From some other country, this much of oil. So if we restrict any particular country's imports, that is a violation of WTO agreement. Okay, so India can't uh, put any quantitative restriction. So no quantitative restriction. Quantitative restriction is against the fundamental principles of WTO. Okay. And then I told you that the transition period. See, we have a, see, WTO is having a, a fair program for the member countries to eliminate all the inconsistencies related with the uh, TRIMS agreement. Okay. For developed countries, they have to eliminate these inconsistencies within two years. Developed countries. Developing country, it is five years. Least developing country it is 7 years with effective from 1st January 1995. What is the specialty of 1st January? It is the date on which WTO came into existence. So 2 years for developed, 5 years for developing like India. So India, what is the date to implement it? 1st January 2000. Least developed country 7 years. Okay. And this TRIMS agreement is based on existing GART disciplines, GART disciplines or GART principles on trade in goods. Okay, so I told you this, this WTO is basically uh, a predecessor, I mean, a successor of GART. So what was there in GART? It is an improvised version with a much more systematic way as an organization with a, 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 a formal structure as well as a, a, a legally binding uh, dispute settlement mechanism. It's there. Okay. So, even though, so, but see, TRIMS agreement is not concerned with, see, we are saying that we will not discriminate foreign investment, but we can regulate foreign investment. There is two different things. We will not discriminate means come giving one country a special favor. See, we are allowing Japan, but we are not allowing China. That is discrimination. Discrimination is not allowed. But we can regulate, we will say that, Foreign direct investment is for insurance is 74 percentage. That's a regulation. We will not allow FDA 100 percentage in insurance. That is, we will decide when. That is a regulation. FDA and insurance, we already discussed that. FDA and insurance is what? It comes under terms. So we can regulate, but we cannot discriminate. So the general WTO settlement procedure is applicable to terms agreement also. Like in any other multilateral agreement. This is a common principle. So we know the answer. 
but we will solve the question again okay so regarding trims agreement the quantitative restriction on imports see this word quantitative restriction on imports by foreign investors are prohibited is it correct yes already we know the answer but we have to know why one is correct one is correct so quantitative restriction is against WTO principle and trims is a multilateral WTO agreement second statement according to trims okay this is applicable this trims multilateral agreement agreement is they apply to investment measures related to trade in both goods and services it is applicable only to investment measures related to trade in goods and not to services so that's why second statement is wrong if it's second statement is wrong we can eliminate a b and d and we got our answer as c one and three only now what is the third statement so we know the third is correct using elimination what is it but read it again trims agreement is not concerned with the regulation it is concerned with the discrimination principle not with the regulation principle so answer is c one and three only so that's regarding trims revise it even though it was asked in 2020 i you see actually this is many things you have to learn so this regarding this this principle this feature regarding this feature and so same thing they can ask you regarding trips in 2021 they can ask like this they can ask a question on trips or they can ask some other principle like agreement on agriculture or on guards general agreement on trade and services so this question you will be using it for other WTO agreement <laughs>